We open the second half of the Bobcats in front of the Colonels, 24-6. The Bobcats have the ball first, and on third down, quarterback Sean Rutherford with a bullet to Darius Bolden for the first down pickup. Next play, the Bobcats keep things on the ground, and Terrence Franks explodes up the middle, then decides to take it outside on his way for a 16-yard gain to midfield. And two plays later, Tim Hawkins tries the left side, gets a couple of blocks from Michael Chambers and Isaiah Battle, picking his way for 13 yards to the Nichols State 31-yard line. Moments later, it's Franks again for 22 more yards. The Bobcat drive ends with a Rutherford touchdown pass to Battle, giving the Bobcats a commanding 31-6 third-quarter lead. The Colonels make a change at quarterback, but Bo Bear gets treated the same way by the Bobcat defense with the sack and another courtesy of Michael Levitt. The more pressure the Bobcats brought, the more mistakes the Colonels made. Bear with a quick throw, which is tipped into the air and right into the hands of Daryl Morris, who takes it back for pick six of Bobcats first in four seasons. And it's all Bobcats at this point in front, 38 to six. To the fourth quarter and the score now 38-9. And no, this isn't a replay, just Michael Levitt with yet another sack, one of the Bobcats season high seven on the night. Tyler Arndt at a quarterback for the Bobcats and hands off to Chris Nuttall who darts ahead for 13 yards. Texas State ran for over 200 yards for a third straight game, outrushing the Colonels 212-103. The Bobcats didn't completely abandon the passing game in the final quarter. Tyler Art with a nice pass over the middle to tight end David Lewis for 25 yards. And then it's Art deciding to take matters into his own hands by taking off for 13 yards down to the Nichols State 14-yard line. The score now 38-12 with the Bobcats comfortably in front. Nichols back at offense and Tyree Allen is drilled by Charlie Holmes for a loss of 7 yards. A bear is sacked again, this time by Jared Haywood. The Bobcat defense holds Nichols to just 208 yards of total offense. Meanwhile, Texas State racked up over 370 yards, 160 of that through the air. And while the Bobcats didn't officially win the paddle back, they handed the Colonels a loss that they won't soon forget. Your final score, Texas State 38, Nichols State 12.